Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm Dadlin Dave and this is uh, my initial thoughts after the second part of the uh, Ask Jeff series has come out today and been released by Walt. <music> So yeah, I've made some uh, notes and um, I'm trying, going to try and cover off the uh, the key points. The first thing that I do want to say, I think Johnny Phillips does a really good job. He's a Wolves fan, Sky presenter. And not only does he ask the questions, but he also challenges some of the answers like a fan, which I think is really good. As I said in the first one of these, over 600 Wolves fans have sent in the questions and you've got Wolves senior management there, including, of course, the, uh, the chairman, Jeff Shee, but also some of the uh, Wolves senior managers, including Russell Jones, who's uh, featured quite a bit today in, on marketing and growth, and Vinny Jones, who's head of commercial. The first thing that they talked about was their individual roles uh, in, in the club, and because obviously it's been often referred to as it was in this particular video be walls while we'll put on the end screen again to watch the full uh, length version of it it's really insightful um because one of the things with uh, the walls fans have asked with with losing laurie de rimple and kevin thelwell have they really been replaced well they were trying to say today well actually they've kind of beefed it up because there are five of them around the table all taking on various aspects of the club uh jeff sort of uh, a responded to some of the criticism that he's a bit distant, doesn't speak a lot. He said he always replies to every email that he receives uh, from Wolves fans, so you can speak to him direct. And he doesn't go on record publicly that often because everything he says is analysed to the nth degree and he wants the focus to be on the team, um, on, on what's going on. He doesn't want any negative vibes to come out of it, which is why they say they're quite measured in when they come out, quite laid back, I suppose. Uh, this sort of forum seems to be going down well with the fans obviously answering questions, so that might be something to go forward. Um, but the other thing that came out of it today was quite a lot was talking around ticket prices and also the stadium. Uh, there was quite a lot that got delved in into the ticket prices. The initial thing that came up was the, uh, the £45 uh, top price ticket for the Man United ticket. And um, it was challenged that, you know, fans were not happy with that. They argued the fact, uh, well, uh, Vinny did especially, that Wolves, when they've done a like-for-like like comparison with other clubs, they're down around about 17th or 18th in the Premier League in terms of ticket prices. And that £45 price point, he did say there are cheaper tickets, but really it's only like £40 for an adult in a different stand for that particular game. Obviously there are concessions for uh, uh, senior citizens and young, uh, young people as well. But they did say, and the writing is on the walls as far as can, as can send, that they want to be around about that 7th or 8th, even if they put their prices up to about £45. So I think that's a precursor to saying... Um, Ticket prices will go up at Molyneux. Johnny Phillips did travel, uh, did challenge this, in fact, saying this could price certain fans out of being able to come to matches. And they did say they understand that, and they talked about value proposition against the ticket prices and that type of thing. Obviously, Wolves in a strong position in some ways, in the fact that they've got around about, they've got a load of members, and also they've got um, around about 10,000 on the ticket uh, season ticket waiting list so i think what we're going to find is that season tickets are going to go up they just want to say they, they try to shell out this myth in regards to um ticket sales not being as much as revenue although they did say they compared it uh like for like with other clubs and it is a big difference they cited the likes of uh, manchester united and stuff but then Johnny Phillips did come back and say, well, they've also got bigger stadiums, so they can sell more tickets. That led on to, um, well, well, before I go on to that, that sort of where they compared themselves was trying to compare the ticket prices of AKA Leicester uh, and obviously trying to break into that thing. So you can see that Wolves ticket prices, I think, are going to go up. That kind of led on to the stadium because obviously, you know, Johnny Phillips did a really good job of saying, well, OK, you're on about, um, revenue from ticketing, what's happening with the, the stadium redevelopment. Obviously the second year of Fosun were there, there's a big unveiling of what the stadium might look like, I'll put it on the screen for you now. And of course, 
um, that's not happened. Lots of arguments, uh, a, dis a debate, should I say, about the location, uh, whether it should move up to the M40, uh, M54, where there's a load of land that uh, could be used, or whether it should stay at Molyneux. The fans desperately, on, on, the, on the whole, would like to see it stay where it is, close to the city centre. Jeff sort of confirmed that today, that he's been presented with plans uh, by Russell and others. Uh, on what, how it can stay that, but he also turned around and said today that it's unlikely in the, in the near future or even maybe the medium future that Wolves are going to uh, redevelop uh, the stadium. Um, it's going to cost about 300 to 400 million. He talked about the financial, um, the financial situation. I uh, talked about interest rates long term, 15 years to pay back. But for me, the interest rates at the moment in in this country are as low as they've ever been. So I'm not sure what he kind of was referring to that because interest rates at the moment are low. Uh, they've looked into different options in funding that. And you can see that the stadium redevelopment in terms of increasing the capacity is obviously in the long grass. But they did talk about the need uh, to renovate parts of Molyneux. Johnny Phillips pressed them on the Steve Bull stand, especially where there's massive queues. The concourse area is small. It's quite steep. And they did talk about investing in redeveloping uh, or refurbishing uh, of making the quality experience, especially in those stands, better for the fans. But again, I'm not seeing, I don't know whether that would happen before next season or whenever, but that's something that they're looking at. And they've also talked about filling in uh, the corners as well at some point. But that's, from what I can gather, going to be like a few hundred thousand pounds to do that as well. Jeff did stress the point that uh, the focus is on investing in uh, the team and the academy. Um, which I, I guess a lot of Wolves fans will be heartened by that because obviously there's no point of, as again as Jeff mentioned, going having a fantastic big stadium and playing it in the Championship. They want to get their long-term stability plan in motion before they do that. But he said at the right time he will press the button to do it. Um, uh, Russell Jones was asked a question. What's the one of the well, answered one of the questions and he said the key one of the key things of any football club would be to make fans proud. They also talked about um, local fans, young fans, uh, seeing more youngsters wearing wool shirts rather than Barcelona, Man U shirts, that type of thing, and wanted to make sure that there's still that avenue for the younger fans to be able to come in, because obviously in a few 20 years' time they'll be bringing their kids with them. Um, but they did focus a lot as well on the global fan base. They're saying there's several million fans over in South America that follow Wolves. So from reading in between the lines on that, the opportunity for commercial growth for Wolves uh, to build up those revenues is to maximise on the global brand, the global fan base, but still not obviously forgetting the local fans, which if they forgot the local fans, that would be a massive mistake. But they do want to build the revenue, so I can see more being done on that. And I think you'll find that the Castore deal uh, that they've announced recently uh, for the, um, and I will go more into that at some point, for the new uh, shirt provider and kit provider is going to be some ways in attaining that global fan base to get shirts out to fans around the world. Hope you've enjoyed this update, some bullet points, some my thoughts on that. It's great that, to see it, very transparent, even if we don't agree with some of the things. Let me know what you're thinking about the, the, the highlights that have come out of that. And until the next one, I'm Dazzling Dave, always walks.